ISC to take all necessary steps to implement this resolution and prepare the special meeting of the membership. Passed and approved this 20th day. Oh, yeah. I make a motion uh, uh, for uh, to adopt this resolution as presented. So we don't get to comment. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. Um, I appreciate sorry. that. Yeah. Sorry. Um. So you go into executive session, you come out, and you don't say anything about executive session. That's all right. And you you know discussing the, this discussing the legal issues on C is is a violation of the Texas Open Meetings Act, but I don't think y'all care. So you come out on number seven and supposedly didn't talk about it in there and just magically have a resolution ready to roll. I'm sorry. Did you remember your thing? We told you the numbering was off. I don't know what number no. seven is. Well, you should post an agenda so all of us have a matching agenda. Wouldn't you agree with that? Okay, we made a mistake Okay, discussion and approval of the, what you're talking about right now. You came out of executive session and a C, you were already informed that it was, it was a violation of the Texas Open Meetings Act to discuss it in executive session. And so you come out on discussion and approval of process required by petition for removal with this resolution just magically ready to go. There was, there's no discussion up here in front of, of us where this was supposed to play out. Everything was done. Absolutely, Bill, you know that. Yeah, this discussion was supposed to take place in front of the membership. That's it. The only thing that I would add is I think we're going to go ahead and have our meeting on the 23rd. And you guys are all welcome to attend. Um, and I can't find anywhere where I think we're in conflict with the bylaws. Uh, we, we as clearly as we thought we needed to stated exactly what the uh, charges were. Joe, you're certainly welcome to come attend as well. And then I guess what we'll do is probably make your meeting on the 14th and see how it all plays out. Yeah, we've made our position clear about the uh, proposed meeting on the 23rd. So, of course, we're going to do our meeting on the 23rd. Oh, yeah. right. okay. So, so where are the ballots going? Because they most certainly shouldn't be in y'all's possession. The ballots will be mailed out. You know what? The return address. How about the ballots get mailed to the law firm and not over here in, in somebody else's possession? There's huge trust issues, Bill. I'm sorry. And you should understand why. We'll take it under advice. 